The next part of the show is something I would like to call J Time. If you're not interested in this next part of the show and are only interested in gameplay, I completely understand, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough video. Welcome to J Time, guys. We will be reading today a passage from, it will be, I believe, John. John 8. It'll be John 8, verse 1 through. 11. Alright, so basically, this is a story, and, um, well, here, I'll just start reading it. Uh, starting with verse 2, actually. At dawn, he, being Jesus, appeared again in the temple courts, where all the people gathered around him, and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group. And then said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery, and the law of Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. And just pause for here for a minute. If you don't know, guys, these are the Pharisees, are the teachers of the law, that they're wanting to have some reason to prove that Jesus was wrong because he was kind kind of he was teaching the law but he wasn't teaching the law the Pharisees way and he was saying how, how some of the Pharisees were wrong and um, the Pharisees did not like Jesus at all so they wanted to disprove what Jesus was, Jesus was saying at all costs so this was like a trick for him because they know the law of Moses oh that's some pretty heavy stuff from God and how can you say not stone such a woman and still have compassion? So it was kind of like a trick question. But uh, listen to what Jesus does. Um, and by the way, even if you do believe in Jesus' teachings or not, you, you still got to think this is kind of clever. Uh, well, you don't have to, I guess, but you know. Uh, going on, it says, But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left. When the woman was still standing there, Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave, and leave your life of sin. So basically, Jesus told the Pharisees, Look, any of you guys uh, ever not done something wrong? So like, if, you, if you've never done anything wrong, yeah, you'd be the first to stone that woman. But, of course, we've all done something wrong. Just like the woman had. Jesus was a very smart man, no matter what religion you are. Many religions, even still, you'll hear people in Buddhism still comment how Jesus was a very, uh, was a very great man. Either way, um... So basically, he was saying that, look, we are so fast to say that someone's wrong and to try to and to try to uh, punish someone for their mistakes. But we make mistakes all the time, and we don't see our own mistakes. So basically, it's like being a hypocrite. You're, you're accusing of someone doing something that you yourself do. But one person can say, well, I only accuse him or her of doing that because they've done way more than me. Well, let me ask you something. If you have done something wrong, because I'm just assuming you have, I am... I don't think there's a single human on earth besides Jesus. I don't believe 
that there is a single human on earth who has not done something wrong um, or something immoral and so if you have done something immoral kind of raise your hand alright now let's just say what you've done is technically less wrong or not as bad as what this other person did well why would that be so you still disobeyed God and still did something immoral who are us who are we to judge which is worse or not the thing is that we still all did something wrong it's not the fact that any of us did more things wrong because that doesn't matter it's like going to court and saying hey judge I I had theft but this person over here had uh, a crime of murder you know so I technically did something less wrong than her well either way you still both go to jail it's the same ending and you might say well the guy who did theft wouldn't be in jail as long well eternity doesn't dog you're interrupting my J time settle down settle down eternity doesn't work like that guys the point is that God can't stand sin so when we sin we before Jesus can be with him we had to make sacrifices in order to atone for our mistakes but that's why Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice now no matter how bad your your sentence is Jesus will just take it all so I don't mean to ramble guys but just what do you think about this and there's a lot of things that you could say about this so I could go on and on but what do you think I'd love for you guys to rate comment and subscribe comment on my show comment on J time comment on this story and I'd love to hear from you guys hey guys today's shout out goes to a Facebook page called stop abuse its community page and it has some foundations but I feel like it should just be needs to be t kicked up a notch so if you have anything to say about um, stopping any kind of abuse anything you'd like to say you can p post it on this um, page it's um, for anybody to comment on so I think that was pretty cool and just if you have anything to say about stopping abuse or whatever or just anything you'd like to say just you can post it on that page and it's um pretty cool so yeah thanks guys and i'll see you in the next walkthrough video